Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Being that we've taken off so long, it feels like this is the start of a new season. Uh, I, I would agree. So, you know, to add to the art of letting go, I want to also focus on letting grow. Got you. Because, you know, the the episodes that we did in the past, we did let go of a lot of things. And those those things that we had let go had transitioned into parts of life where we wanted to grow. Right. So I want to continue with that. And, um, yeah, just kind of looking at just where life has been over the past couple of weeks, I think the biggest thing that I've learned is that there is a lesson in everything Mm -hmm. and you have to want to take that lesson in order to see it that way. Yeah, that's real. Because shit could look real fucked up. Everything could look really fucked up. Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. If you allow it to. Right, absolutely. But, you know, learning something from everything, like, you know, I've been more of a student in my life than I've been a teacher Mm -hmm. and I think I'm a good teacher now because I'm such a good student okay and being out of school I have to learn ways of learning new things Mm -hmm. and not just like skills but like knowledge Mm -hmm. and I get that through experience that's real you know my grandmother just passed I've never been through that before Mm -hmm. you know nobody really could tell me what that's like i mean there are people that have been through it but i could give you my experience of it yeah you know because it was wild Mm -hmm. the whole experience was wild like meaning prior to her dying to her death after her death it's been an experience Mm -hmm. and it's been emotionally unpredictable but it's okay um I allow myself to feel everything that I feel. You know, it's kind of funny hearing Kanye talk all this free thought, free thought shit. And really, thoughts ain't shit. The feelings are the only things that are really real. Mm -hmm. You know, you could think and and come up with a million possibilities of anything. But to really emotionally feel something, yeah, that's the real. Mm -hmm. You know, prior to... The day she passed, I did cry, but then the days after that, I was okay. Seeing her in that casket, that fucked me up, and I was super emotional. Mm -hmm. I was probably one of the most emotional people in my family, at least for me, because I wasn't, I didn't really, I saw what other people were doing, but I was really in tune with myself, Mm -hmm. and it definitely touched me a lot harder than I thought it would, but then I got through it. You know, and everybody dealing with such heightened emotion of everything, it definitely caused a lot of conflict, like just within my family. Right. But it also led to resolution. Like, you know, just keeping it all the way real. I have never yelled at my mom or gone off on her for anything. But just because of where our emotions were at during that time, we had a conflict. Mm-hmm. But we got through it. That's what's up. Through communication. Yeah. And I don't even know why I was saying all that. I really just wanted to share it because it was an experience. And it's it's just so funny, like, just the dynamics of just, like, life, man. And just, like, you know, I think that's... That's really one of the tools in life that they try to hide from you is communication. Mm-hmm. And, I, and you know, <laughs> it's, it's just funny. It's just funny the shit that, that we focus on in schools. And I say this because I am a teacher and I just lost my job last week while I was on vacation. Oh, well, not wow. on vacation. I was in I was in New Orleans for a funeral. Uh, the breathing. next day, yeah. they sent me an email telling me I got fired. What? Because I gave a quiz. And they said I wasn't engaged with the students. Wow. Mind you, I did some bullshit that they wanted me to do called community service. Not community service, community circle. Mm -hmm. 
And during the community circle, they had some bullshit question for me to ask these kids, like, what what is a fictional character that you connect to? And they were like, we don't want to answer that. So I started asking them real questions. Mm -hmm. What makes you feel free? What are you passionate about? Yeah. How are you telling me I'm not connecting with your students? What do you like about school? What right. don't you like about school? Right. Why are you doing drugs in high school? Mm -hmm. What other alternates do you have? Why don't you find other ways to find what you're looking for? Wow. Who the fuck is talking to these kids about this shit? Mm -hmm. This might be that episode where I might just be a little angry because it's a lot of shit going on just in the world that's pissing me off. And I'm allowing myself to feel that way because it's just mind blowing to tell me I'm not connecting with kids or engaging with kids and I'm giving them way more conversation than they probably getting from their parents. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I get it. I understand the politics. I, I got extra money out of y'all. I got extra money out of y'all and y'all ain't like that shit. So y'all got rid of me. And that's cool. That's real cool. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still going to other schools, still doing the shit that I feel like I need to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Doing my part. Because a lot of motherfuckers is not going to use trigonometry. Let's just keep it real. Or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I ain't used that shit since like high school or middle school. Mm -hmm. You remember that shit? Yeah, I do remember like, that. what the fuck I is that? that? You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Saying all that to say, keep feeling through life, keep going through life, and keep growing through life, because that's the only way to get through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. shit be looking real dark, but you can find some light in that shit if you really want to. That's real. That's yeah, real. man. And that's life. That's real. <laughs> I felt like I just needed to be quiet for a minute. No, it's you, all good. Talk, it's all you know? good. Uh... I hear you on that, on a lot of what you were saying, and that's crazy that you got fired for that reason. On my day off? Yeah. Craig, what am I doing, stealing boxes? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you get fired on your day off. Uh, but nah, man, I definitely hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying as far as the emotions and the, and the thoughts go. I think that they, um, for me, I've gotten to a point where uh, I can be super emotional. Yeah. And sometimes my emotions conflict what i should be doing you know what i'm saying uh and so i kind of I, i'm i'm learning to balance my thoughts and my emotions like to one to to kind of teeter off of one another you know what i'm saying like because so, sometimes my thoughts are really negative too and that changes my emotion and so it's like i i agree with what you're saying but i've had to like balance the both of them because like so say for instance i'm in a conversation with somebody right and we're, we're talking and I allow my emotions to lead the conversation. If I'm trying to get a point across, sometimes my emotion isn't going to get the point across. Sometimes it's me thinking and being like, all right, they're kind of like doing the most right now. So I'm going to let them do the most. And I'm going to sit here and be chill and wait for my chance to speak. And if they give me a chance to speak and they're willing to hear me out, cool. But if not, I'm just going to keep it pushing because obviously they just want to talk. And Absolutely. so. And so, you know, I'm learning how to balance the two of them on my end. You know what I'm saying? Like, and but I, I totally hear what you're saying as far as you're allowing your, because you do really have to live in your emotion and allow yourself to experience it. Like, if you're Absolutely. having a bad day, then have, a, then have a bad day. Like, that's what it is. And see, a lot of times my thoughts confuse my emotion. That's real. So that's why I say the, the whole idea of thought for me is not that important. Yeah. Like usually, usually if 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 I'm feeling a certain way, it'll inspire whatever I'm supposed to do That's or real. whatever I'm supposed to think That's or whatever. Real. That's real. You know, and you th you're right too because thoughts can definitely get in the way of what you're supposed to be doing too. You know what I'm saying? Like as far even like in art and in in passion or going out networking or doing something like that. Like you know you sp you should go talk to this person. You feel it. You know what I'm saying? You feel the energy. You feel like oh they're good people, but just in your head you're like. Nah, they don't want to talk to me. So I get what you're saying, like wholeheartedly, and I, I'm. That's why I say I'm figuring out that balance Absolutely, between the two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes I need to rely on my emotions, but sometimes I need to rely on my thoughts because yeah. I I can be like an extra extra nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, yeah, man. But um, 
I do want to say uh, um, that I commend you for going through what you went through with your family. And, you know, we talked before you left. And uh, I'm happy to hear that you was able to get some of that stuff off of you, you know. Um, I know it was. I know I'm happy that you were able to get it off of you to the individuals that needed to hear it. Like you were you we were able to talk about it and I don't know if you talked to anybody else about it, but the fact that you said that you were ever able to express them to your mom and that whole communication thing worked out and you know, we're not teaching this in school, but you're you're seeing like, man, I just really needed to say that and she really needed to say whatever she needed to say, or maybe she just needed to listen. But I just wanna commend you on that because that takes a lot of courage, especially even though you got you were a lot emotionally driven from the circumstances like it still takes a lot of courage to do it so i just want to commend you for that i appreciate that and i think things worked in my favor because regardless of how the interaction was it was from a place of love yeah and when you operate through love you get through things with love right you know Straight up. so me yelling at my mama was out of love it wasn't me just yelling at my yeah, mama because yeah, yeah. i felt like you know for right. whatever reason it was it was very feeling and emotion driven and it got through to her yeah. what I, the message that i needed to get through to That's her good. and we grew from that and yeah. i see growth in her from that That's and dope. it's just like damn not being afraid to have a conversation led us to probably having one of the greatest relationships we'll ever have in right, life because right. now we could be all the way real with each other right and that's really what it's about man like really being real like man i recognize just so much fucked up shit mm -hmm. that was taught and just passed down through generations and you know sometimes you know it's a trip but i really do feel like my grandmother passing was like her way of showing us like let go of some of them fucked up old ways yeah man and and i i feel you on that bro because when I, I felt the same way when my grandmother passed i was a lot younger than you know obviously than i am now but i want to say on that note like keep that in mind you know what i'm saying like i keep do man. driving that because like i felt that way and i don't know how many other people in my family felt that way so i kind of was like whatever like i tried for a little bit then i was like uh whatever you know what i'm saying so but i want to tell you if that's really how you feel and if you feel like that's something that your grandmother gave to you in her passing keep that alive like keep that afloat even if other people ain't responding the way they supposed to even if like the family ain't ain't vibing the way you think they should be vibing based off of this like keep doing what you feel you're supposed to be doing honestly man and i think that's that's what's got us all moving on the same vibration like yeah. i'm really doing what i feel in my heart and every time i do you know i may after, after I do it, the thought may come up of thinking about, did I do the right thing? Did right, I not? Am right. I right? Am I wrong? And I always, I swear, I feel her. Like, anytime I feel, like, just feel something, I feel her just telling me, like, I'm all right and I'm doing all right. That's good. And I swear I felt that every day since she passed. Yeah. So, for me, it's like, man, I know I'm moving right. And me moving right is going to make everything else in my life move right. Right. And, yeah, man, it's... It's cool. That's it's really dope. cool. That's dope. And that's family. Yeah. And I say that word like that because, man, family is a motherfucker. Right. I wish y'all could see my face right now. <laughs> and I love my family. Right. And it's certain shit that family don't do to family. Mm -hmm. And it's motherfuckers. That, and I'm not even talking about my blood. It's right. motherfuckers that call me family and then lie to my face right that ain't blood yeah you know and just the way i move if you call me family we family we gonna move as family right but then you just right you know like i i can't even get into too much detail about it mm -hmm. but you know people just gotta start being authentic it's 2018 all that fucking lying and all that bullshit right there is no room for that shit in 2018. 2018 just exposing the fuck out of you. Yeah. If you ain't noticed. <laughs> if you ain't real, it, real. it ain't allowing That's you to so move real. on. Because this is the That's fucking so future. Real. The present That's is so the fucking real. future. It ain't none of that shit. That's so real. So you got to let go of that shit. Because 
it ain't playing around. Right. And I ain't playing with it either. Yeah. You know, and I love just, I really love how I move. I love how everybody move around me because we all trying to be our best. Yeah. And it's so crazy, man. It's so crazy when you moving right, the right people going to be in your hey, life. Right. The wrong ones will be eliminated. It, it comes, man. Like, it just, it just happens naturally. Like, it's really... The expo- like the exposure to it when it's I saw I read something earlier today that said you know if you put it out if you put love out you're gonna get love back like that's Absolutely. just what it is you know what I'm saying and uh, it's funny too because I can tell that you mean everything that you're saying I know everybody else can't see him but I'm looking at him and the way he talking it made me think like did I did I lie about something like no not at <laughs> I know all. I didn't not I know I didn't all. but I just had to I wanted to make sure other people understood like how serious you are right now about everything you're saying. Because I can see, I'm looking at you, looking at me in the eyes. Duh. You feel me? And so I see like you passionate about everything that you're talking about. And I know people can hear it, but I like we gotta, we definitely gotta get this up. You know what I, I'm saying? I really am because I love my family. I love my friends. My family, I didn't choose. Right. But I'm appreciative of the ones I have. Yeah. My friends, I did choose. And I treat them as, in that way to right. show them I chose y'all. Right. So for me to be friends with somebody and for them to call me family and then be fake, mm-hmm. like that just don't work. Yeah. And 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 the bottom line about it is it, it hurts. It like, does hurt. It hurts. It hurts like a mug. Like it's definitely happened to me. And I can't go into too much detail neither, but it just happened to me recently where, and it's not even the whole thing was recent. It's just over the course of time, I just started to realize who this person was in my life. And I was like, wow, like, I've really been treating you like my brother since Ben. And that's just not how you treat me. Like, you call me this. You you say these things, but you don't treat me like I treat you. You feel me? And that's okay sometimes. You know what I'm saying? The balance of a relationship isn't always equal. But when somebody just ain't doing right by you. Absolutely. You know and 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 this, and this ain't me trying to be suspenseful or none of that shit. Right. This is really me reaching out. And giving somebody an opportunity to be honest. That's come real. On, come be on here and come be honest. That's real. You know what I mean? If that's you really real. want to be honest, because yeah. this this for me is a place of authenticity yeah. and honesty. And, you know, I'm not going to be out here bullshitting. That's real. Because that's not what this is for. That's real. You know what I'm saying? So that's life within like two to three weeks or whatever it's been. But I still feel good. I still walk around smiling. I still laugh. Mm. And like I said, it's lessons in all this shit. Yeah, straight up. Learning them and taking them in. Straight up. Because, you know, it's going to be somebody else that's going to go through everything I'm going through. And, you know, they may not have the tools. I feel like I'm building up my tool set to be able to share with other people. Like, yo, this is what I did. Right. I just talked to 100 people on a podcast or however many people listen. Right. Or I just put it out there just for me. Like, right. I really don't care. Yeah. <laughs> That's real. That's so real. That's so real. That is so real. Nah, man, I uh, I feel you on that. And I appreciate you sharing all of that because, uh, you know, we haven't. It has been a while since we've done the podcast. Yeah. And so it was good. It's, one, it's good to, to still have the same energy in here that we Absolutely. always have you know what i'm saying and two I'm, I'm i'm happy to hear about the the art of letting go is 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 about growth as well like Absolutely. we both we both i think we both are in a in a in a time where we're growing both career-wise uh spiritually relationally like it's i see it you know what i'm saying in the both of us and and a lot of times when we have like even when we talk before we start you know what I'm saying doing the podcast like I can it reminds me sometimes sometimes I need those reminders of okay yeah you really yeah. you really are growing in different aspects and it was funny I went to the gym before this and I just randomly just started talking to God it was crazy and uh I and, and to be honest I haven't talked to God in a minute like it's it's been a minute yeah. and uh I was just talking to God and I was like man I just want to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing but at the same time I was like I am like, I just felt it. Like, I knew that I, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, even though I haven't talked to God as much. And I actually, it was so dope because I was like, it's so it's so cool to be able to say, God, I forgot about you, my bad. Like, it's, it's yeah. really a relationship. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's so dope. But um, I said all that to say that the growth that I can see, and even if I haven't been right there with you guys this whole time as far as communication goes, which needs to improve, 
like I know you've been with me and I know that I've been doing the things that you would have me do and am I always doing right nah am I always perfect nah but it's cool though like right so it's just it's dope to have that type of growth in my life because before you know it's like a lot of times you're taught that if you ain't doing this or if you ain't doing that you know then you a heathen and you going to hell and you know what i'm saying and it's dope to to have this kind of relationship and this kind of experience like with god as well as with my friends like i think before i would feel really bad about not being able to talk or not being able to show up and it's like yo i just i really have something going on it's still love like i still am gonna make time for you but it just can't be right when you need me you know what i'm saying and if you can respect that cool if not then i mean we'll just talk when you're ready to talk again because i'm straight right. you know what i'm saying but um yeah so i have man. a question yeah the word sins right is that short for lessons that's a good question i don't know the answer to that because yeah, <laughs> i was thinking about that because yeah. i was like these things that people that consider bar, to be the sins that's a bar i'm gonna use it i am <laughs> but a sin is supposed to be a bad thing but think about your sin and think about how many lessons you've learned within that sin is it really bad um i just think about things like that no i know i hear what you're saying and i don't have a direct answer for that i think that you definitely do learn a lot uh i think that there's trials right mm -hmm. like things happen in life and you have a choice on what you can do whatever whatever that trial is or whatever that situation is and whichever direction you choose you do end up learning something like right. regardless of whatever direction you choose now when we talk about sin directly then we're talking about god and what he considers a sin not what i consider a sin right <laughs> you feel me and so I, I do know that if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and it's leading you down the same path god is gonna let you keep walking that path until you learn from it Mm -hmm. like i do know that but as far as directly how you're asking the question mm -hmm. i don't 100 percent have an answer and i don't want to act like mr bible man man, man. right <laughs> <laughs> and be like you know but it's a dope question i like the way you worded I, it you know what i saying? would love to i would love to have a conversation with with somebody just about things like that right because i believe in god i do but then they're just like just life questions i have mm -hmm. you know so it'd be interesting to like just ask them and just get some some insight well we can do that yeah i would love we, to do that. we can definitely do that i think that i just need to no, I one you. i haven't like i said i haven't been doing what i should be doing and from my on my standpoint spirit spiritually speaking not religiously not like cultivism where i have to read my bible whatever but i haven't been doing it yeah and so i'm just not I don't want and then I don't want to just act like I know everything either you feel me but I definitely would love to do that I think we should have just a whole episode of that absolutely I would we, love we, to. we just talk and we just ask questions and we pose ideas to one another I mean we I can we can do I can do it too yeah like we can come up with some different stuff and then we can just go from there I think that'd be dope yeah so we y'all just heard how we come up with ideas for the show by the way but um I do want to take a quick break. Hopefully, she answers the phone. Today is my mom's birthday. I know we were talking about moms and family yeah. and stuff. So, I actually want to call my mom and wish her a happy birthday. We'll see if she picks up the phone. She might be salty when she picks up the phone because I ain't called her all day yet. So, we'll see <laughs> how this transpires. Maybe we have to edit it out. We ain't going to edit it out regardless of what happens. There we go. The phone is ringing. She don't answer, we go leave a message. She's probably mad right now. Or she's out on like a hot date or something. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Answer the phone, ma. Hey, ma. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing on this lovely day of today? Mommy been sick. <laughs> Mommy been sick. I'm sorry to hear that, mother. But I did, I do want to let you know that um i have you on you see just this just ruining stuff <laughs> no it's all good so it's my mom's birthday today she just turned that's not important 
and uh oh so i have uh, right now i'm recording the podcast and i wanted to call and me and mike wanted to wish you a happy birthday on the podcast so you can get a feature in you know what i'm saying get your get your credits up you know what i'm saying put you on itunes you feel me <laughs> but uh we go sing happy birthday you ready you ready mike yeah happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Happy birthday, dear mommy. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yeah, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, oh, it's your birthday. <laughs> hey, go ahead, ma. Hey, uh, you got any? Uh, you got any birthday wishes you would you like to say or do anything on on the podcast today? Life is great. I have no complaints at all. And I didn't hear Mike say anything. Mike, why didn't you sing to me? He did. He did. He just over on the other side. He did. Hold on. Happy birthday. I, I did sing. I probably sang a little low, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a real love. <laughs> but thank you. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Ma. I love you. And, okay, uh bye. I'll uh I'll call you back later, but I'll see you for sure on Saturday, right? Right, but I, I I definitely was hoping that there were going to be some roses or something when I came home today, like this world, but that didn't happen. <laughs> see, you ain't had to put me on blast like that. I'm trying to I'm trying to do something special right now. You know what I'm saying? Get your credits up on iTunes, but you don't care about that. You want to be loved. It's it's cool. It's cool. I still love you. Maybe you'll get some roses tomorrow. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you shouldn't have said nothing. A day late. I know. I wasn't planning on doing that. You're right. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, know. I, I love you. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, man. But um, she be on my head, bro. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to wish her a happy birthday real quick. And um, yeah, man, before we get out of here, is there anything else you wanted, wanted to touch on? Let the people know where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram. Uh, under Alpha Presents, A L F. Don't forget the F. P H A underscore Presents. Uh, Twitter is the same handle. Uh, Facebook, you can find me uh, under Wayne Michael. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for now. On SoundCloud, you can SoundCloud, you can find me under Alpha. And uh, yeah, you can find me. You know, I keep it a little simple. But, you know, still me, just Mike Brown on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, um, Tumblr, Beats and Blunts hey. on Tumblr. Hey. You know, if you like a good read, like a good blunt and a good beat, um, primomiguel.com. You can find this podcast on iTunes or you can find this podcast on SoundCloud. Yes, sir. Um, under the Art of Letting Go podcast on both of those. Um. Yeah, that was pretty much it for today. Today yeah. turned out to be a really good day. Definitely, definitely. All right, y'all. Was well, much love. Um, uh, stay blessed. Keep your head up. If you're going through something, you'll get through it. Absolutely. This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha, and this is the art of letting go. Letting go. That was kind of that was tone. That was tone, 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 tone. Letting go, letting go. Yeah, yeah, that was better. That was better than the first one. That was, you like that one better than the first one, right? I do. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> Much love. Peace. <laughs>